So, I guess it's time to do a long term review of my Troy Lee Designs D3. I bought this, I believe, in 2012. I had a V2 before it, which was good. The improvement between the D2 and the D3 is definitely uh, massive in, in terms of comfort and I guess confidence as well. It feels really good. This is a small, uh, small extra small uh, back in that size back then, which is, I think it's a small medium now in comparison. I don't have a very big head. The fit from day one has been excellent. So it's, it's snug, so let's chuck it on. snug, doesn't move, it's killer, that's just even with the chin strap loose, perfect, it breathes really really well, I've just washed it because it got trashed on the weekend, uh, covered in mud, heaps of sweat from you know just months of riding and uh, summer, I've probably washed it two or three times in summer, the pads, they're killer, they're still, they've still got excellent rebound. They're obviously not as firm as they were once. Uh, not, as, not quite as snug as it was when it was brand new, but still really, really snug. Like I said, 2012, it's now 2019. Seven years old. It's uh, original pads. Feels really, really, this is a crazy thing to say but it feels really, really good to crash in. It inspires me with so much confidence uh, in the helmet itself. It doesn't improve my riding or anything like that. It's not gonna take 10 seconds off your Strava times, but the confidence I have in this helmet, I haven't had in any other helmet. So D3, you know, I used to race downhill pretty much every year, every season, every race. So you need a good strong helmet uh, just to pass the standards anyway. So it was a no brainer to get a D3. Not long after this one, I reckon it was 2015, maybe, probably 15, 2015, I bought a Fox Rampage Pro Carbon. Wore it a little bit, didn't like the fit. Uh, it almost felt a little bit claustrophobic, even though this is quite small and a, and a very snug fit. The field of view that I get out of this helmet is really, really good. Never feel like I'm kind of jammed up. When I put goggles on, the breathing is a little bit less, obviously, but not too bad. With the Rampage that I had, it just didn't feel, I didn't feel as confident in it, to be honest. I didn't have as much confidence in the helmet itself. And seeing a couple of pictures of the chin bars ripped off, uh, you know, from horrific crashes, from big crashes, which is gonna happen on any helmet. But seeing that kind of put me off a little bit as well. And I never felt, really safe in it. It didn't feel like it was around my entire head uh, comfortably. This feels like it supports every part of my head really, really well. Now also, I've crashed big in this helmet a few times. So I've had one real big crash, which is where this scratch on here comes from. So this scratch and, and dinged up there. Uh, I believe this is my second visor. So it came with a spare visor, which was killer. I snapped that in this crash. So I went head first into a, it was like a built up timber berm, U-turn berm, and I came into the berm real hot, washed the front at the start of the berm and just slammed into the timber as a U-turn. Uh, pretty much knocked me out, I was, I was quite daisy for a while, uh, broke a finger on the impact. Um, the hit, it was such a big hit and it felt, it felt okay, it felt okay to crash in. So that was my first, big crash in this, big head impact in it. And they say after one impact, you should definitely throw your helmet away, get a new one. I was never really in the financial position to be buying a new helmet. I'd put, I think this cost me 380 bucks or 400 bucks at the time, something like that. But I was still confident to wear it. I wore it more. Uh, I had a, I've, probably the last, the last six months at least I've been in this, but before then, I was on the Fox Pro Frame, which is the lighter version of their full face helmet. So it's basically a full face helmet for enduro riding or, or all, day, all day trail riding and whatnot uh, with a bit of extra pro uh, protection instead of a, an open lid. So my Fox Pro Frame, which actually, oh no, the door's locked. I was gonna say, I'll go grab it and show you the direct comparison, but doesn't matter. My Fox Pro Frame, I had a crash last year at Wollonga in my qualifying run 
crashed into the rocks. I wasn't going super fast, but I come in, uh, clipped, a, clipped a big rock on the trail. It threw me over the bars and I went head first into some rocks. That impact, it's the first impact I've taken on the head with the Fox Pro frame. And that impact absolutely sucked. So it felt like there was no cushioning between my head and the helmet itself. There was no padding. The, the padding did absolutely very little to no uh, work in, in order, uh, you know, in the way of cushioning the blow. I was dazed for a couple of days from it. It really rattled me around and it scared me for, scared me off of wearing that helmet. So from now on, I never ever, I mean, that helmet's done for anyway. It's got a little bit of a dent in it from the crash. I'd never wear a pro frame again. Uh, not saying it's a bad helmet, but it's not enough protection. It's much, much better than wearing a, it's basically a half lid with a full, full face frame. So it's no more protection than a half lid, except for the physical coverage that you get. Um, the impact protection is, to me, is no different. It really didn't feel nice to crash hard in. So I ditched that and I pulled this out. Dusted the, you know, blew the dust off of this, which I hadn't ridden for, I hadn't worn for a couple of years. So I was just sitting collecting dust. And I, I thought at first that maybe it wasn't gonna be a good fit. Like, oh no, I don't remember it. Um, you know, I, I thought that I'd put it away because it wasn't fitting that well, but I actually put it away to replace it with the Rampage Carbon, uh, which I didn't like, which I ended up selling. And then when it going under the pro frame and skipping back, you know, skipping past this. So I pulled this back out. The moment I put it on, I thought, oh God, this is so good. Like it just feels so good. It's a perfect fit on my head, uh, gave it a wash, washed all the pads so it was fresh and smelling good, started riding in it, went through our entire summer, so 36, you can see some of my helmet cams, uh, so some of my videos pass over over this summer, you know, from the last you know, few months ago to six months ago and whatever, of me climbing in this and riding all day in this. I don't take it off for climbing, I don't take it off for anything. I can ride all day, hot or cold, and in the cold it's a bonus, it keeps you warm, in the cold, still breathes really well. If you want to put goggles, goggles sit really well on it. Uh, I took another hit the other day. Um, wasn't a, wasn't a terrible hit, but I was riding along some slick surface, fast single track, and I went to pop up to get a, get a little bit of a bonus line entry to this U-turn corner, and I just veered onto the slippery stuff, onto the grease, um, you know, like the mossy stuff on the hard pack. And so as I've gone to load the front wheel, it just disappeared on me, and my first point of contact with the ground was my head so I smacked this part of the helmet into the ground and instantly the first thing I thought of was damn I love this helmet I just absolutely love it I can't speak enough about how good how protective and how how relieved I feel every time I hit my head in this helmet now I know I'm due for a new one and people are gonna rag and say oh you can't you shouldn't be wearing that helmet again blah 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 but I'll tell you what wearing this helmet over again has save my bacon definitely and i'd much much prefer this than to put my half lid back on or put the pro frame back on while i'm waiting to save up for a new d3 it's most certainly still doing the job it's most certainly still a strong shell around my head so and i have supreme confidence in this helmet still even though there's probably been two relatively hard hits to the head and maybe a softer one so one that i'd say replaced the helmet which was this one um, if I had endless money, I would have put this on the shelf and replaced it. I think that may be why I, why I shelved it as well. Just because of that, you know, I want a fresh shell. Um, yeah, that fresh maximum protectiveness around my head again. But it's so good. I've taken the pads out, inspected the foam. It's all good from the inside. There's no cracks, there's no unnecessary dents or anything like that. It's killer. It's been amazing. I'll keep wearing it. Like I said, breathability is killer. You can cut this open to put a little chin bar mount if you want your GoPro hanging off your chin. Uh, I literally cannot say enough about it. So look at these pads, they're killer. So they just Velcro in and out. You've got quick release stuff. I love the D-lock. A lot of people don't like it. They say it's fiddly, but once you get to know how to do it, it's like tying your shoes. If you can tie your shoes, you can do up the fiddlock. Oh, the fiddly, it's not actually called a fiddlock, obviously. Um, but the, the D-lock, so. That doesn't bother me at all. It's not even a question. Pads are killer. Still the original pads from seven years of riding. Or give or take, being a, it was on the shelf for a couple of years. But D3, invest in your head, honestly. There's no more important part of your body than your brain. And if you're not investing in it, um, it may be a matter of too little, too late one day. So 
I'm a massive advocate for always wearing a full face on the trails. Uh, I don't generally wear it when I'm on the dirt jumps or pump track, which may be something that I'll do in the future. Um, and I'm not just doing it to set a good example, I'm doing it because I like to protect myself. And I know how easily things can go wrong. Clip a pedal on a tree stump that's been cut out the way that you couldn't see, or a rock's moved up, you clip your pedal on that and you just go straight over the bars. Uh, happened to a friend of mine recently, we were actually doing a bit of filming. He got a new bike and um, he was trying to line and coming into a corner and he just clipped his pedal and he just got sent into the ground real hard. So a big dirt dive and uh, you know, wearing his full face, he had a 100% uh, helmet on, uh, saved his bacon obviously, uh, took a bit of a hit and he's fine. But full face, full time on the trails, you never ever know when something's going to go wrong. Uh, Aaron Gwynn snapped his crank the other day. You know, he's a sponsored rider riding some high level stuff. Whether or not you know, the crank is faulty, whatever, things happen, you can go down in an instant and sometimes your face is the first thing to hit the ground. So uh, I definitely recommend putting something in front of it. Yeah, D3, killer helmet. Uh, I definitely want a new one. I'm in the market for a new one. So uh, once I get a bit of cash together, I'll find a good design that I like and, and get the fit that I want. And that's the other thing, a lot of shops don't carry these, which I definitely encourage shops to get a couple of D3s in, even just for size, so people can size them up and then go, I don't know, a lot of people are gonna buy online, but if you're reasonably competitive in the shops, you'll sell these. They will sell like okay, They're the best helmet in the market, I believe, and uh, don't settle second best, don't skimp. 